Miriam here, and we're going to talk about uh, how to evaluate your holiday decor and declutter it. Um, and I know we've been talking a lot about sacred money archetypes and how that can help you with decluttering. Um, but I wanted to take a pause because, you know, holiday specific, we are in the midst of the holiday season and I want to give you some actual actionable things you can do to make your holidays better um, for the rest of your life, really. <laughs> um, and so today, this uh, I wanted to, to talk about the considerations of how to evaluate your decor. We all have a bunch of stuff we use for the holiday. Okay, some people have enough on a shelf and some people have a whole garage full of stuff, but somewhere you have at least one thing that is holiday decor hiding in your house, whether or not you ever actually deploy it. So I wanted to give you the considerations that I use to help my clients figure out which of their decor pieces are important to keep and which are okay to let go of and how to make it easier every time. Um, so decluttering, it's really about how to make things easy to use, the things you really want to use. How do you make them easy? Um, is it easier to sort through and unwrap individually wrapped things, or is it easier to declutter all the extra packaging and put them into sectioned containers? Or is it okay to dump a whole pile of, say, plastic ornaments, which a lot of them are these days, even nice ones can be plastic or unbreakable. Um, can you dump those all into one bin because they all go to the same place next year? Or is it, you know, are there some extra special precious things that you want to buy very specific uh, containers that will sort them out? It's easier to do that instead of wrapping individually. Um, so this year, as you unwrap, start thinking about, is it necessary to wrap this in this way? Or is there a simple sectioned thing that we can use? Or sometimes just putting like ornaments together keeps them safe enough. So think about how you use it. Um, and then decor, you know, do you have to have a pad between every plate? Or is your plate kind of plain without a whole lot of... Um, transfer on it that you can just stack them regularly without stuff in between. That's, you know, little pieces of, of how you can begin to eliminate some of the excess stuff that gets in your way when you're decorating. Um, so always think of ease of use. Second, how much less space could you allow it to take up, right? There's some stuff that's just big and unruly and really hard to store. I may or may not be talking about blow up lawn deer and Santa displays. Um, I may be talking about how many, um, you know, how many of a certain thing do you need before you have to get a new box and then is it too many? Um, so always, how can you consolidate it? How can you take up less space? Um, it took me a couple years, but I realized if I put all the lights and garland that go on my fence in one box and then put the bows and the extension cords and other things into another box. I could do it in two boxes. But if I tried to keep the bows with the garland and the lights, there was always a funky spacing issue and it would take three boxes instead of two. But somehow nesting the bows back and forth took up less space than putting them between the garland. So play around with it a little bit. See how you can take up less space. The third consideration is relevance. Do you still have an elf on a shelf and you don't have any naughty kids to um, be looking for? Do you no longer have a big yard or a 10 foot ceiling? Or you know what, what are some of the things that you have that no longer serve the purpose for you at this point in your life? Um, you know, maybe you don't have the, the dog that you have a stocking for from four years ago, maybe he passed on and you still have a stocking. Do you still really need a stocking? Um, that kind of thing. Is the things you collected with an ex still relevant? Maybe to the kids, but is it to you? Is there a way to pass it on to um, rearrange it in some way that that's, it's no longer necessary to keep storing it or using it? So again, ease of use, take up less space, how relevant is it? 
once you kind of have those as your basic criteria, start looking for things that are easy to get rid of. We talked about packaging already, but is there something that's broken? If it's broken, let it go. It doesn't want to live with you anymore. Um, is it something that's too short or used up? How many times have you burned that candle for 15 minutes and now you can't get it to light because the wick is too short and it's got a bunch of dust in the top? Um, is there something that used to, like the light bulbs for a strand of lights that no longer works and you got rid of the whole strand of light, do you need the light bulbs? Probably not. I recently discovered that there are different sizes of light bulbs, even if they look the same, the little connectors can be different. And when I discovered that, I looked at which ones were on my current lights and I kept those and let go of the size that was incorrect. Um, and then what kinds of things do you have that are so specific you can only use them? Like, do you have a plate for Santa's cookies that is very special because you all worked on it together to create that plate? Or is it just some store-bought plate that says Santa on it? Um, can you just use any old plate from the kitchen that you have year round or one of the pieces from your china set that you use for the Christmas dinner? Do you need a separate specific plate just for Santa? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, it's up to you, but consider the specificity of the item. Or we can only use this garland in this one location. So if we ever move, that garland can go, but while we're here, we're keeping it. Just make sure you've thought these things through. Um, it's easy ways to declutter. Is it so specific that you can't use it for anything? I'm a big fan of using plain dishes and things and just changing out linens so that they can get refreshed as they get used up, but I don't have to worry about storing an excess of dishes year round. All right, so having said that, I wanna expand on that just a little bit more. I love to look for things that are multi-purpose and I love to look for things that are high impact. So of all of your decor, what would you deploy even if you didn't have time to deploy everything else? I. Even when I'm out of town for the holidays, I put up my fence lights and bows, the wreath, and my silver Christmas tree that takes me literally four minutes to put up. And I have one set of 12 ornaments that go on that tree and it looks fantastic and it takes me 10 minutes. It's the one I actually travel with when I go visit family elsewhere. I take a tree and 12 ornaments with me, high impact, beautiful, serves its purpose exactly right, and it's very quick and easy to use, and it takes up very little space. So again, look for items that are high impact and multi-purpose and or can be used in a multiple, multiple ways. Can that be a centerpiece? Could it be a mantelpiece? Can you move those candlesticks around so they're by the tree or on the mantle or in the entryway? Where can you use them a few different places over the next few years so you don't get bored and yet you don't have to go buy a bunch of new stuff or figure out how to store a bunch of new stuff. All right, remember, the overall plan for the holidays is peace, joy, and love. So stop worrying about all the little crap, right? And look for peace, joy, and love, how you can make things easier and how you can um, have more peace and joy. Thanks, have a delightful day. We'll talk again next week. Bye.